What is going on everybody? I'm your average gamer and in this video I want to share my first ever Overwatch experience with you guys. This isn't just my first time playing Overwatch 2. This is my first Overwatch experience in general and I have quite a bit to say about it. Now for anyone that doesn't know, I play all of my games on controller and on console. I used to be a PC player but got really wrapped up in these exclusives that I basically just didn't want to go back because I absolutely love these single player games. But of course I do love multiplayer games as well, first person, third person, it doesn't matter, I'll play anything and everything. And seeing that Overwatch 2 was free, there was no reason to not give it a chance. I've played a lot of games, so I understand what I'm getting myself into, especially in a competitive scene. You know, I don't want to play this game really competitively or nothing like that. This is me just trying to play a new game casually and enjoying it. And of course, I'm going to try a little bit to get better. Uh, right now, all the footage that you see is my very first experience playing the game. I barely was messing with the settings, so this is just like the default settings, and I'm just trying to get used to everything, so bear with me. I understand that the gameplay might be super cringy, especially to those that have already put a lot of time into it. All I'm asking is just, you know, bear with me. So with all that being said, I'm just going to jump right into just talking about the game. My first impression of the game is I really enjoy it. I find it extremely fun. I had to call up my friends and my brother, tell them to download this game. Because it just is one of those games where, yes, it's fun to play solo, but playing with a team, especially a new team that never really played this game, to me was a blast. The very first thing I noticed is the learning curve. Now, don't have that really be a turnoff if, you know, you're not into that kind of thing. But just with any game out there, it's going to take a second to learn not only the mechanics, but the abilities and the heroes. And the heroes are a huge thing in this game. That is exactly... The entire purpose of this game is each hero has this unique or these few unique abilities that separate them from the rest and you can kind of find your play style with each individual character which i found super fascinating the very next thing i want to point out is the difference between council lobbies and pc lobbies now i played a little bit of both anytime i played solo i always got council lobbies and you can always tell the difference uh, that's not a shot at anybody or nothing like that. It was just one of those things where as soon as I got into a PC lobby, people's movements were just a lot better, you know? And as somebody that is still trying to figure things out, that is my only complaint, is I feel like sometimes it's too hard to aim. I know I have aim assist. There's also a million different settings for aim assist. Um, and I didn't want to go through all of that right now in this moment. You know, I just wanted to play the game. And one of the very first things I noticed is if somebody has a little bit of good movement, my controller aim personally is terrible and that's something I definitely have to practice. But I don't necessarily feel like it's my fault. Now I'll be the first one to tell you that again, I'm not the greatest at this game and I'm still trying to figure it all out. But like I said, I don't necessarily feel like it's entirely all my fault when there's a million aim assist settings. It's my first time playing the game and I'm just trying to figure it all out. You know, I'm not trying to sit there and, and practice just with my sensitivity and try to fine tune my sensitivity when I don't even really understand the game itself yet. So that was something where I was just trying to jump into and just shoot things and, and learn people's abilities and have fun. And it was working. I was having a great time. Now, by all means, I'm not trying to sit here and say that I want the game to give me aimbot and to hold my hand and to show me all the best settings. It was just overwhelming to hit advanced and see six, seven, eight categories just solely about aim assist because that's not something where I want to go individually and mess with uh, and practice a bunch of times you know I just want to be able to be like mm, this sensitivity feels good let me practice it for a while and then after a while I'll be like mm, I need to change it a little bit higher or a little bit lower I don't want my aim assist to be like oh I need it more sticky or less sticky does that make sense also I know this is going to be such a weird thing to talk about but I cannot stand when the sensitivity, when there's a horizontal and vertical, and the vertical is lower than the horizontal. You know, in this game, for example, like I play on, what, 80, 60? So 80 horizontal, 60 vertical. And again, I understand the purpose for that. But for me personally, it just messes with my brain, you know, because now I'm like, okay, like that's, it's not even, or it's not the same as if it would have been on 80, 80. You know, again, like I understand the input value for the vertical is like way higher and it's just to me, it's just weird. You know, I, I just want it to be like the same. That's how I've always been. And for it to basically, if I move my stick in a circle for me to look in a circle, I don't want it to be kind of clunky. And that's the kind of feeling that I get. 
so far. It's not terrible. It's a hundred percent playable and all that. And again, I understand them being very picky, especially on my very first day playing the game. It's just the small little things that I've noticed. When I was talking to my brother about this game, who again is the PC player, he plays a lot of first person shooters, you know, CSGO, Valorant, all that type of stuff. Um, and of course, Overwatch 1, Overwatch 2. So he was trying to give me his best input about the game. And he was he was saying that it should be pretty easy on controller because it's all about tracking. And I agreed with him. But the one thing I feel like a lot of people won't understand is when you have somebody jumping around and moving around and again, just having movement, it's hard to track them. And yeah, like that that's supposed to be the point. But I feel like it shouldn't be that hard or as hard as I feel as if it is. The next thing I want to talk about is the public matches. Now, I have no idea if there's skill-based matchmaking in this game, but I pray to God that there is. Uh, that's something something that I always complain about, but in a game like this, I feel like you have to surround yourself around at least somewhat decent people, especially if you're trying to have fun, because it's not really that fun to get dumpstered on all the time. Um, but, you know, a lot of these public lobbies, again, we were either getting absolutely stepped on or we were just stepping on every person that we've seen. Granted, I was playing more solo, so I didn't really have a squad. Um, it's just every single time I got into a game, it was it was always one-sided. And in a game like this where um, the best matches, I feel like, are the overtime matches, like, I want more of those. The heroes in this game, though, are actually really fascinating. Like I had already said, each hero has their own unique ability or perk that really separates it from the rest. And in this team-based game, that's nice to have variety. And it gives you a chance to kind of, you know, figure out which character you like more. There are three categories. There's tanks, blasters, I call them blasters. They're like the damage outputters. And then medics or support. So each individual class has, um, again, these characters that define how you will play the game. One of the last things I want to talk about is the pacing of this game. I for one absolutely love it. It is incredibly fast. As soon as you wait those 30-40 seconds of the pre-game lobby and those doors come down, whatever, whatever the objective is, you just run there and you don't stop shooting throughout the entire game. And whenever you do retreat, within the next 30 seconds to a minute, you're back to firing. It is incredibly fun. So those are my thoughts on Overwatch 2 so far, mostly console perspective. I'm sorry if you're a PC player and you're like, well, what the fuck is this? I didn't learn nothing. I apologize, but at least you got an insight from your average console player, at least, I guess, right? Somebody that enjoys the game, and I hope that console and PC players are able to kind of bridge the gap between that toxicity and just be like, hey man, like, you're crazy on console. Hey man, you're crazy on mouse and key. I don't know how you play a controller. I don't know how you play a mouse and key. You know, I wish there was more of that. I'm really excited to keep playing this game. I'm also excited to hear what you guys have to say about this game and or the video, okay? So comment down below anything that you guys want. As always, I love y'all. And be sure to check out all my other content. I play and post, like I said, anything and everything. So again, be sure to check that out. Anyways, as always, I love y'all and I hope you guys stay smooth. Peace.
You picked the 